Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what are the things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutors feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au, register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. A cutthroat competition starts at school level with parents pressurizing children to work extra hard and score high marks in all subjects. Students too feel the pressure of performing better than the rest. Therefore, they get stressed when they are unable to perform according to expectation. The stress builds on until it turns into health hazards, which stay on forever. It is an undeniable truth that only realization can prompt a change in behavior. Therefore, it is crucial that the school children realize the mammoth importance of following the driving laws and traffic rules. One must also not forget that the target age group is the teenage and the children in this age group are stubborn and sensitive. They should be dealt with carefully.
the rat race of this competitive world starts as early as the school days. Students as young as 10 feel weighed down by their studies in an attempt to score high in all their subjects. Parents are often helpless since they are unable to provide proper guidance when it comes to studies. They find sending their children to coaching centers more convenient than devoting time to them. After surviving the horrendous heat of the summer, the cool showers of monsoon truly are a respite. Everything around us looks clean and refreshed as the rainwater washes away the dirt and also leaves behind an earthy fragrance. For some monsoon is like a friend that brings them immense joy. For others monsoon brings muck and illnesses. However, there are also those for whom monsoon is the cause of their woes. It is sad but true that the school students are the worst victims of malnutrition. The reason behind it is not poverty but their growing fondness for junk and fried food. Most students prefer pizzas and burgers over fruits and green vegetables. Such items have always been a more tempting option to the home-cooked meal of rice, chapatis and vegetables.
Books enlighten us, cheer us and encourage us. They make us healthy, wealthy and wise. Books are our best companions as they never desert us in our hour of need. Friends may give us a cold shoulder in our adversity, but not the books. They amuse, entertain and inspire us even in our darkest hour. They provide a welcome escape from the dullness and drudgery of life. The bird was fluttering its wings during the rain. The bird was fluttering its wings during the rain. A team is now studying the behavior of tropical animals. A team is now studying the behavior of tropical animals. The subject is complex and difficult to explain. The subject is complex and difficult to explain. Universities play major roles in students' lives. Universities play major roles in students' lives. Remember to bring calculators to class next week. Remember to bring calculators to class next week. Their research result has been published on a science website. Their research result has been published on a science website. You need to be able to concentrate when working or studying. You need to be able to concentrate when working or studying. The new rules will become effective in the next few days.
The new rules will become effective in the next few days. His lectures tend to range over a number of topics. His lectures tend to range over a number of topics. They have come up with a new method of solving the problem. They have come up with a new method of solving the problem.
We all know the scene. Dorothy closes her eyes, and repeats the good witch's mantra. No coordinates exist like one's domicile. No coordinates exist like one's domicile. No coordinates exist like one's domicile. Only Dorothy doesn't say that. She says five one-syllable words. There's no place like home. Each a word you probably learned in your first year of speaking, each perfectly concise. It's not that L. Frank Baum didn't have a thesaurus. It's that in most cases $10 words fail. When it comes to words, bigger isn't always better. $10 words are rendered worthless if they're not understood. That's not to say every piece of literature should be written at a fourth grade reading level, but it is important to know your audience. If you're a novelist, your audience is probably expecting 300 pages of vivid descriptors. At the very least, they're expecting you won't use the same 50 words to fill those pages. But most of us don't have the luxury of a captive audience. We're competing against a whole world of distractions and we're fighting for space in an attention span that continues to shrink across generations. So get to the point already. The process of writing a book forces you to be curious. And no, contrary to popular belief, curiosity didn't kill the cat. In fact, it made the cat happier. Studies have shown that there is a link between curiosity and dopamine. So that means that people who are curious tend to have lower levels of anxiety, lower levels of depression and have a better overall psychological well-being. Furthermore, being curious helps expand our knowledge when we learn new things, explore new ideas and pursue knowledge. We end up having a better understanding of the world around us. When I was doing the research for my book, I, you know, looked at hundreds and hundreds of articles, books, blog posts, everything. And it was great because I ended up absorbing all this information, kind of like a sponge. And now I have a tiny little box back my brain filled with fun facts and tidbits of information that I can pull out. 1. When a conversation gets dull. But 2. To help use as context when I'm learning new things and so you end up having a self-fulfilling cycle of knowledge where the more you learn the more you can learn more.
What do we call a person who is waiting for doing something? What do we call a person who is waiting for doing something? Stand by. Where do ships load and unload goods or find shelter from storms? Where do ships load and unload goods or find shelter from storms? Port, harbor. Which one is renewable energy, solar power or fossil fuel? Which one is renewable energy, solar power or fossil fuel? Solar power. What do we call the jewelry worn around your wrist? What do we call the jewelry worn around your wrist? Bracelet. What do we call a picture painted on a wall? What do we call a picture painted on a wall? Mural, wall painting. Which piece of equipment is used to control the direction of ships? Which piece of equipment is used to control the direction of ships? Rudder, rudders. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.